So I'm a clown? Yeah. Fuck you. Welcome to the John Legato Show. I'm John Legato. It's showtime, folks. It's showtime. Here's Johnny. We've all shopped at Walmart. I mean, it's a private business and offers some pretty good prices on goods. Trucking company. It delivers the goods we need in our everyday life, such as food and toilet paper. Now, both businesses hire folks who want a living wage and good working conditions. We all want that for ourselves and our families. The mumbling you're about to hear is Riverside County Audits. You know, I really can't make out what he's saying, but he's conducting a First Amendment audit on a trucking company. What's up, guys? It's like kind of kind of really here in the city of Merlo. I'm doing a First Amendment audit right here. You're going to see if there's a right So, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Now, auditors claim that their mission is to educate public officials on the First Amendment and free speech. Can I help you? I didn't ask for help, man. What's that? I didn't ask for help. All right. You all right? I'm good. Are you good? Yeah. I'm just checking yeah. if you needed help or anything like that. I'm good, man. It's your... This Walmart has hired a private security firm. Again, no government funds and no government employees. The security officer is not a police officer, but he is currently assigned to stay close to a cash transfer at the electronic section of Walmart. You want to do me a favor? Get your hand up your gun, please. Can you get your hand up your gun, sir. Get your hand up your gun, man. You ain't got. You don't have to have your hand on your gun, dude. There's money present hey, here. Hey, hey, hey! Back away. Whoa, don't try to fucking grab me, you fucking tyrant. Whoa, you just fucked up, buddy. Although auditors claim that their mission is to educate public officials on the First Amendment and free speech, their method of education proves that their mission is not to educate, but to incite an aggressive response from whoever, which brings them more YouTube views and then more money. They could care less about free speech. But they are very good at inciting a response. They know what buttons to push, and they push them. How am I a smartass? All I said was I don't need help. Can't disclose any information right now, man. For sure. I'm working. If anything, I just wanted to give you a heads up. They're gonna come over here and talk to you. Yeah. I just want to know what the kids got because. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna answer their here. questions because you you could you just called me a smartass, man. Well, you gave me a smartass answer, so. You asked me if I needed help, and I said I don't need help. Yeah. How's that a smartass answer? I don't need help. Uh, whatever, bro. So the guard disengages with a whatever, bro. Whatever, bro. Yeah, you see, get back to work, man. But the auditor doesn't want the guy to disengage. What he wants is to incite violence. Now, you may disagree with me that words shouldn't produce a desire to physically engage with someone, but you'd be wrong. You know, one of the reasons our blood pressure rises watching audits is the frustration we share when auditors use their cameras to suggest 
that they're now the boss. And they bark orders demanding that someone do something that they were going to do anyway. You asked me if I needed help and I said I don't need help. Yeah. How's that a smart ass answer? I don't need help. Uh, yeah, you see? Get back to work, man. Go back, sit down. <laughs> sit down on your little little chair in the inside. What's up? Go sit down on your little chair, man. I can sit down wherever, bro, but we would be right here. Since you want to film me and whatever, else. man. You were covering your face earlier, so now it's all good. That's cool. Sick. Allied Universal. Yeah. Yeah, they're clowns, man. They usually hire clowns. Oh yeah, I'm, now you're calling me a clown. Yeah. So I'm a clown. Yeah. Fuck you. What's up? What's up then? You know, in my generation, words had consequences. Now, this exchange in the schoolyard always ended in a fight. But auditors believe that they're a protected class. Why? Because of their cameras. They constantly challenge cops with, uh, you take that gun and badge away and you're a coward. Well, auditors prove almost every time that minus that camera, they are wimpy, whiny cowards like Jason Gutterman. Yes, Jason, you are a coward. Let's go back to Walmart where this auditor is going through his auditor checklist. Who are you? Security, ITS. Oh, no, what's your name? No, I'm not my name. Why not? I'm not a police officer. I'm not obligated to. My company doesn't require me to do You got a real gun? Huh? You got a real gun? Absolutely. We've had, you know, random people. I can say whatever I want. Depends on what you mean by freedom of speech because you can say whatever you want. Oh, okay. But whenever there may be consequences to that. And they want to say some strong words towards this police officer. Depending on the words that are used. Or if you are trying to get them to beat you up. I'm pretty sure you could think of a lot of different things you could say to a police officer sure, that's sure. going to make them beat you up. Okay. okay. Don't do that. That's, that's not protected. So this officer just assaulted me. This officer just assaulted me right now at Walmart for no reason. For no reason, no. The auditor was following the security officer closely, taunting him with fighting words. Excuse me, sir. This guy just assaulted me right now. How so? He just assaulted me right now. How so? He snatched my, my phone out of my hand. He snatched your phone? Yeah. All I did was ask him to get his hand off his gun, and he got a temper. He started cursing at me and snatched my hand, my phone out of my hand. I want to uh, press charges. This guy fucked up, man. He just snatched my phone out of my hand. That's... I want to press charges. You don't tell me what to do when I'm... I want to press charges dealing with, money. with this guy. He just snatched my phone out of my hand and, and, and assaulted me. Face. He assaulted You're me now. giving me orders while I'm no, he, actively he assaulted doing me. my job. This auditor just didn't understand that Walmart is a private business. These security officers are not police officers. And your camera ain't working. So I'm gonna need to file a complaint. Yeah, he's done. Yeah, he's done. What's your name? Uh, we don't have names. We don't have names. What do you mean you don't have names? Do you see a name on that? So if you have any complaints, there's you don't have names. What do you mean you don't have names? I don't understand. He just assaulted me. What do you mean you don't have names? Do you see any on our uniform? I mean, who are you then? IPS International Protection. No, who are you though? This dude just assaulted me. I don't know who it was. So can we? Can you give me his name? No. Hey, that's not okay, man. That dude's dangerous, man. Yeah, Something needs to happen to him, man. Well, he can't just do that. You can't do that. Well, you're so I need to go. The lady. No, I wasn't invading. Shit, he came up to me. He came up to me, man. Look, the lady. I, I need to go get the witness that seen him assault me. The the lady in, inside. So. Okay, well, right now you're not gonna go inside the store. Well, right you need to go get the lady then for me. I need the lady that that was there that seen him assault me. Right now you're not gonna go inside the store. Well, who are you? Security, IPS. I know, what's your name? I'm not my name. Why not? I'm not a police officer. I'm not obligated to. So let's get back to the truck depot when police arrive. With the pepper spray. So this guy decided to come out and smack me, swung twice at me, and so I pepper sprayed him. And, you know, I was defending myself. There is some good news on this whole auditing phenomena. Police officers are now aware of the auditor's techniques to incite violence and don't automatically arrest the individual who just grabbed the camera or swings at the frauditor. Listen to this cop who resolves the whole thing. 
with a tacit threat to the auditor of, I know what the hell you're doing, pal. Hey, you don't want to press charges, correct? No. Okay. okay. Uh, you made this, this guy to the YouTube famous now. <laughs> you know, uh, which was what you set out for when you came here and, and you, you hooked them and reeled them in. You know, so I suppose at the end of the day, you did your job. Uh, so now, uh, what's that? Lesson learned on, on both both parties. You were trying to get him to react, and he did. And well, I mean, he didn't have to, you know. I mean, I yeah, still Yeah, but it makes for a better video if he does. Well, man, I mean, if he would have just kept his hands to himself and just would have talked shit to me, it would have been fine, too. You know, I would have just, you know, still posted that video. I know. But... Even if he did, a, you know, didn't come out, I would have still posted it, you know? I, know. I post everything. Yeah, yeah. So, in any case, uh, just so we don't get called back out here, um, I'm just going to have to ask you to maybe move to a different location. Yeah, that's fine. Do stand on their property. Think about this. If, if auditors wanted to teach civilians about free speech, then why harass them at their workplace? And why insult them? Just engage them in a friendly conversation and provide facts on free speech. But that's not your goal, is it? The John Legato Show is being broadcast from outside the gates of Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune in beautiful North Carolina. If you like the show, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, and we don't ask for personal information. Semper Fidelis.